Hey, what's up? This is Conversations with Yaya. I'm Yaya. Don't forget to like, share, comment. I am also on Spotify, Apple, iTunes, um, shit, right here on YouTube. And don't forget to click that link, um, by YanaEllis.com where you could purchase my books. And, uh, there's that. So, what are we talking about today, guys? Because, you know, I'm here to just talk about all the things. And I think today I want to talk about of course, always people in relationships, but I want to talk about the fact that people change and we have to be okay with that. I think that we, we get too comfortable with people and we allow people to get too comfortable with us, right? And as time goes on and you, you have more life experiences and you get older and things like that, you're going to change. Sometimes you don't even realize what you're evolving into. Sometimes you don't even know when it's happening, right? Because I think we all, when we look at our future and we look at our life, I think most of us are always looking to become a better version of ourselves, right? So if you're aspiring to be this thing, and you and your eyes on the prize and you can see the life you want for yourself and you can see the kind of person you want to become, how you want to move, where you want to go, the things you want to eat, the places you want to go, the people you want to be around, the lifestyle that you want to acquire. Your goal is to start living that little by little. You're going to start dressing a certain way. You're going to start speaking a certain way. You're going to stop doing certain things. You're going to put yourself in position to be around certain people that um, can complement the lifestyle that you want. I, I think that's what a smart person could do, right? If you want to get money, you're not going to be around a bunch of broke people. You're going to try to place yourself in a position to be around the people that's getting to the money so that it can rub off on you and you can learn some things you can get to the money too. If you want to get married, you're going to hang around a bunch of married people. You know, if you want to be happy, you're going to hang around a bunch of happy people, so on and so forth, right? And I think that we forget that it's not just about us. So if you if you want to grow and you want to do certain things, you're so self-absorbed and you're you're so concerned with yourself, rightfully so, there's nothing wrong with that, that you forget that there are other people in your life that have the same goals of wanting to be better and do better things, and it's going to require them to change, right? So now what happens when the rabbit got the gun? What happened when the shoe's on the other foot and you're not ready for the people around you to change or you're not aware that they are changing or that they're aspiring to do and be a certain way, right? Well, you're going to feel some type of way. And you have two options. You either grow with them or let them go. But you cannot, under any circumstances, try to make somebody feel bad for wanting to be better, for wanting to do something new. Because a lot of times, if they want to be better and they want to do something new, it might mean letting go of you. You probably don't even realize how many people you let go of in your life as you evolved, right? Relationships just fell by the wayside. You ain't friends with this person no more. You're no longer attracted to this guy or these types of men. You're constantly growing. And you don't even realize what's happening until it happens. But, if, but just think back. Look back in time about just think about all the people that used to be in your life they're gone now those relationships are no more that's because either you outgrew them or they outgrew you and i think the problem with relationships specifically friendships right and women we we got to do better with this because a lot of times when women grow you have someone That'll say things like, she thinks she all that. She thinks she better than all because she, she, she. Well, yeah. If, if you're used to doing a thing with people and you outgrow it because you're starting to do other things, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm too good to be doing that. I don't do that anymore. Applaud your friend. Be happy for your friend, your sister, your brother, your homeboy, your wife, your husband, that... They want to better themselves. It doesn't mean that they looking down at you. It doesn't. It, had, it has nothing to do with you. And I think that we take things too personal. And that's where the, she thinks she better than or, or that nigga, that nigga on some bullshit. No, wait a minute. Stop. 
What is wrong with the person that you claim to love wanting better and wanting to live their life different and wanting a different type of lifestyle? I feel like we possess people. I feel like we sometimes think that people owe us uh, something. And what I mean by that is because you've known, you've known each other a long time and you've invested so much in, in one another that you have to remain exactly how I know you to be so that I can be comfortable because I don't know nobody else and I don't want to know nobody else. So the minute you start doing different things, I'm going to feel some type of way because I'm comfortable with you. And that's not fair to you. That's not fair to the person that you love. This is why a lot of relationships and, and forget friendships, marriages and intimate relationships, because one person stays the same while the other person is leveling up in, in whatever type of way. This person is comfortable. The other person is leveling up, doing different things, trying different things. And instead of the person that's down here jumping on the bandwagon with their partner, they sitting back saying, so what you think you doing? Oh, you trying to be this now? Oh, now you want to start going over here because they, they, you know, those insecurities kick in. That's where the insecurities kick in. And this is why relationships fail. This is why marriages fail because one person stays comfortable while the other person is trying constantly evolve and trying to do new things. And instead of you supporting that person on the way up by, you know, coming up with them, you stay down here and you mentally, you say shit, you do things and you mentally try to keep them down here with you. You guilt them into uh, feeling like they're doing too much, like they're leaving you behind, like they're changing. There's nothing wrong with changing. Changing and acting funny is two different things. All right. Acting funny is. Let's just say you've been broke and you come up on a couple of dollars. And now you want to start dissing all broke people. And now you don't wear this anymore because that's for bum bitches or you ain't driving this no more because only niggas without money. You know, you start doing all that weird stuff. Now you're acting funny. Now you're acting stupid. Versus I'm just trying to be happy. I'm just trying to ex expand and explore new things. And I want you to be with me. You're my husband. You're my wife. You're my best friend. You're my girl. You're my sister. You're my whoever. I don't need your permission to grow. You don't need somebody's permission to grow. I'm going whether you want me to or not. I'm growing regardless of what the fuck you feel and what you say. So you have two options. Either you grow with me or you get left. It's that simple. It's really that simple. So just be mindful of your feelings when the people around you are starting to do things different than what you're used to, right? Step out of your comfort zone, support them in their growth, support them in the new things that they're trying to do because you may learn something as well. And also be mindful if you're the grower, how your loved ones may feel. Now, I'm not saying give a fuck to the point where you stop growing, but just kind of take into consideration that, they, they, you know, they have to get to know you all over again. When you grow, you're a new person. So now you got to get to know me. Now you can't talk to me like that anymore. Now you can't talk to me about that bullshit anymore. I don't want to go to these places anymore. I don't want to do that anymore. So now you got to get to know me all over again. Okay, well, what's what's the new Yaya like? What's the new Ayana like? What does the new Ayana like to do? I love you. I respect you. And I'm going to respect all the things that you're trying to do because it makes you feel better about yourself. I support you because I love you, girl. Or I, I support you because I love you, husband, wife. All right, this is this the new shit you want because this is positive for you and this is going to make you feel good? Fuck it. Let's do it. But there's a thin line between that and somebody just acting brand new and being an asshole. We don't support that. We don't support brand new bullshit around here. We don't, we don't do that. You know what I mean? We, we, we support communication, coming together, having a conversation with your loved ones about the things that you're trying to do and the changes that's going to happen around here as a result of. Communication is key. All right? Allow people the space to grow. Do not guilt them. Do not make them feel bad. Support them. And also keep in mind that if you are the grower, that the, your loved ones around you 
it may be a little uncomfortable for them for a while, but if they love you and they respect you, they'll fall in line, they'll grow with you, and nothing will change in the relationship. You're all going to grow together, be it a friendship, uh, intimate, all the things. It's about alignment. It's about alignment. All right? Now go have the day you deserve.